Joe Rogan had given an analysis while Khabib and Al were fighting. And he took some criticism for it, and he came out and answered for it. I am, am completely fine with where things lie, but I was surprised at how critical he was of Khabib. And I was surprised for a couple of reasons. First off, I will acknowledge what Joe was saying. When you're watching Khabib fight, and this weekend specifically, your mind cannot help but wonder, how would he do with Tony and how would he do with Connor? You can't help but think that. And you can't help but think of a precision power striker like Connor. And you can't help but notice that Khabib keeps his chin up. And it's a problem. I tell you who else keeps his chin up is Connor McGregor. So maybe it's a bit of a wash. But you you do have to see Khabib fight, and you do have to come with that takeaway. That he isn't bulletproof. He does get hit at times. He seems to deal with it. So does Connor. Why he even leaves that door open, why he would crack that window for somebody to walk through, I don't know, but that's between him and his coaches. I don't have a problem with that part of the criticism. I don't have a problem with that part of the analysis. I do struggle with some when somebody is out there fighting for a world championship. And they aren't even losing a round. To say that there is something, anything less than amazing happening in front of you. There is a common belief against fight fans, fight analysts, and occasionally fighters. That this sport is about knocking the other guy out. That is wonderful for marketing and is wonderful for talking points. It is not the name of the game. The name of the fight game. And I didn't create these rules. You'd be as pissed at me as you want. I didn't create these rules. I'm telling you the rule. The name of the game. I hit you and you don't hit me. That's the game we're playing. All the rest is marketing and hype. Propaganda and gamesmanship. And it can be very helpful for the business. But it isn't the sport. The sport is I hit you and you don't hit me. Khabib was hitting his opponent and not getting hit back. Khabib followed the rules of the game. I watched Sugar Ray Leonard go through this. I've watched Floyd Mayweather go through this, where people want to criticize because he's not putting people down. I watched Michael Bisping go through this. And now I'm watching Khabib go through it, apparently, as of Saturday. The game says... I hit you and you don't hit me. He was playing the game and he did it very well. And the only problem that I had, and again, we're, we're, we're good here. Joe gave his response and everything's fine here. But the bigger problem that I had with it, if I am Ally Quinn and Ally Quinn is tough as an old leather boot and he did one hell of a good job, period, in the end, and I won't hear anything else. And I don't think anyone will even speak anything else. But if I am Ally Quinta, okay, Joe at one point, while criticizing Khabib, even said it's amateurish. While attempting to give an analysis of Khabib, he just greatly insulted Al. Because Al is now getting touched and not touching He is now losing to a guy who was fighting like an amateur. None of this is a commentary on Joe Rogan. I just want to set this record straight for those of you that were influenced by these comments. Khabib Nurmagomedov turns out can't just go take anybody down anytime he wants. Turns out he's a human being. Great. Everything else was stellar. Everything else was a five-round win to a world championship, a undefeated young career where he is yet to lose a round. 